today we are going to cover Maclaurin and Tyler series of a polynomial function at the beginning, but of course we're going to start with the easier one, Maclaurin series. Okay, so look, what is our task in here? Uh, so, let's just say that we are dealing with polynomial function f of x equal to a0 plus a1x plus a2x squared a3x to the power of 3 plus a4 to the power of 4 and we go on like this until a n x n. And look, let's just say that we want to rewrite this function in a slightly different way but equivalent way. And we want to rewrite this function using its derivatives. So let's first calculate all consecutive derivatives of this function right up to nth order. So, is equal to 0. Plus, uh, so let's keep it now. Out of this we get a1, then plus 2a2x, plus 3a3 squared plus 4a4x to the power of 3 and we go on like this until we arrive at the last component and we got n that goes up from a n x n minus 1 right now we calculate second derivative this is gone out of this 2 3 times 2 times a 3x, right? Now this goes up front, so we get 4 times 3 uh, times a 4x squared plus until n times n minus 1 a n x n minus 2. Okay, now let's calculate derivative number 3. The constant is gone, we've got just this, and we get this is just this expression. <coughs> so two, three plus two goes up front. Four times three times two times a to the power of uh, a four x plus and we go like this until n times n minus 1 n minus 2 a n x n minus 3 well I hope you can start to I mean, you are starting to see where this is going but let's go a little bit further okay so we calculate f fourth derivative and this is gone. Out of this we get 4 times 3 times 2 times a4 plus. And look, if we would have a5x5 here, if I would differentiate it, what would I get? Well, 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times a5 a times a5 times x. And what would be the last component here? It would be n times n minus 1, times n minus 2, times n minus 3, times a n x to the power n minus 4. And if I would be going on like this, until I would calculate n derivative, n derivative, I'm sorry, what would be this n derivative? Would we would have here n minus n, so x to the power of 0 is 1. All we would have here is n times n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3, n minus 4, like this until 5 times 2 times 3, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, times 4 times 3 times 2 times a f. And look, this would not change at all, if I would just put here 1, right? It's 
still the same number. Okay. So look, the second thing we're gonna do over here is we're gonna evaluate this function and all its consecutive derivatives at zero. So we just substitute zero into this function. So we get that f of zero is simply a zero, right? All of it, or every component of the x turns to zero. Then f prime of zero, we go here, we just get a one, then f piece of zero is two a well something has changed but we see that one is like in front here one two two maybe some pattern will emerge then we've got third derivative evaluated at zero is equal to three times two times a three right and derivative number four evaluated zero is four times three times two times eight to the a four again we see clearly that there is some pattern now let's look like at the last element so derivative and derivative evaluated at zero is n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 and we go like this until we get 4, 3, 2 and let's just say 1 times a n ok, and look those consecutive numbers that you see over here going 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 times 6 until times n minus 2 times n minus 1 times n is something I hope you remember from high school and this is something called factorial and factorial n is defined as one for where n is any positive integer. One times two times three times four times n minus one times n. Okay, so look, knowing this symbol will definitely simplify all we had to do over here. But there is a problem. We have zero here as well. And 0 is definitely not a positive integer. So, what should we do? We define, for the reasons I don't have time to explain here, that 0 factorial is 1. Okay, so now let's use what we've got over there to define, uh, to uh, rewrite the expressions we've got but look, let's do it in a different way let's calculate all the coefficients ok, out of this we've got that a0 is equal to f of 0 but this is the same as f of 0 divided by 1 but I prefer to write it as f of 0 divided by 0 factorial now, a1 is equal to f prime of 0, which is the same as f prime of 0 divided by 1, but again, I prefer to write it as 1 factorial. Now, a2, in order to obtain a2, we need to divide both sides of this equation by 2. So this is f b of 0 divided by 2. But 2 is the same as 1 times 2, which is 2 factorial. Okay, then a3 is third derivative evaluated at 0 divided by 3 times 2. 3 times 2 is the same as 1 times 2 times 3. It's 3 factorial. And I hope at this moment 
you can see the pattern that clearly emerges. Because now, A4 would be fourth derivative. Oh, sorry, I hate this sound. Uh, divided by 4 factorial. And coefficient n would be equal to f derivative evaluated at 0 divided by uh, n factorial. OK. And look, now we can use the, all of that that we've got over here uh, in order to express the function we were dealing with at the very beginning in a, com in a different form, but in equivalent way. Because we know what are those coefficients equal to, we can write it a little bit differently. So we can write that f of x, so this polynomial function can be written as f of 0 over 0 factorial plus f prime of 0 over 1 factorial x plus f base of 0 over 2 factorial x squared plus f uh, third derivative evaluated 0, 3 factorial we go on like this until f derivative evaluated at 0 over n factorial of, oh, oh sorry, x to the power of 3 times x to the power of n. So look, what we did over here just about now uh, is that we've taken this polynomial function and we expressed it in a completely, well, in a different way, but in, a ex but in an equivalent way. Now, will this work? Okay, in order to check if this will work, let's just do an example. So, let's just say that we've got a polynomial function of a second degree, second order, uh, uh, second degree polynomial, I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, so this is f of x is equal to 2 plus 4x plus 3x squared. Okay, so how do we go about it? Well, first, let's, we will have all, we have a second degree polynomial, so we will have only three components because x to the power of 2. So we need to calculate first f of 0, which is simply 2. Then we calculate the first derivative. It gives us 4 plus 6x. And we evaluate the first derivative at 0, which gives us 4. Then we're taking second derivative Calculating the second derivative, we've got 6, which tells us that if we evaluate the second derivative at 0, it's 6. Now, let's use the formula, so Maclaurin series, because this is what this formula actually is, uh, and check if, uh, if we will get exactly the same expression that we've got at the top, if we just substitute all the values. So, we should have here f of 0 over uh, 0 factorial plus f prime of 0 over 1 factorial x plus f base of 0 over 2 factorial times x squared. Okay, f of 0 is 2 divided by 1. It's 2. Now, f prime of 0 is 4 divided by 1. It's 4 times x. Now, f base of 0 is 6 divided by 2. Because 2 factorial is 2. It's 3 times x squared. 
Okay, so we see that this formula definitely works. Now, uh, we should notice that it just has one peculiar drawback. Because we can, when we were doing expansion, we were just doing this expansion at zero. But what if we don't want to do expansion at zero? What if we want to do expansion? Because this is how we call it. Why is it like that uh, a little bit later? Let's just say we want to do it at a different point than zero. Look, in order to accomplish that, we will use Tyler series. But we will learn how to do it in the next video. Okay, so see you in the next video.